Hey there guys, I'm Danks564 and this is continuation of our let's play of Spell of Force 3 and we're about to enter Nexus of hmm. Molandir. Nexus or not, there's definitely an impressive energy radiating from behind that door. Kind of unsettling to be honest. So, Tahar, do you want to go in? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I explore everything yes. here first. Just stay wary. We have no idea what to expect. The stone doors fall shut behind you as you step through the overgrown arch, and you are met by an almost eerie silence. Yet you immediately feel a presence, a power long forgotten, waiting for someone or something to wake it from its slumber. The Nexus must be nearby. Oh. Incredible. So, this is the Nexus? The upper levels. We'll need to go further down to find the heart. Come. Yes. Okay. First, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's go check everything to the sides. Uh, before sure. we go there, let's activate the what do you call Hearthstone? Something stone. Godstone. That's it. So now we know that uh, what do you call the religion. Is somehow connected to this Mullinger and the city of the. Ooh, who's there? This way, right? Understood. Here we go. Uh, pull back. Oh, fine. <laughs> my poor, my poor goblins. They just like fall down constantly there, probably because of its, of the ice. Let's shoot some more. Okay, I don't un don't know exactly what this uh, part of golems will do, but. We probably will do something. So we got some sort of a helmet. Plus 20 HP, but reduce dwarven outer armor plating. Huh. Is it used? Your quest received? Is it? I think it's. No. Was it? Nope. Oh, right. It, it. It's somewhere in here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. What quest was it received? Power hungry. Find Nexus. So, nope. Definitely not here. Hmm. I don't know. But it's somehow connected with this thing. This unassuming chunk of metal might not seem formidable, but it was actually designed to be used as a quality dwarven armor. Experienced dwarven smiths should be able to re uh, repurpose it for wind wall design. Mm. Just give the word. I think I'll, I'll pr I prefer focus on her instead of HP, so it's fine. What's next? Do I even need that uh, goblin? They're pretty useless. Let's go with that. <laughs> it looks even more ridiculous, actually. Maybe we should go for a little bit more focus on him. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's what it does. It locks behind. That's sure. what L does. That way. Yeah, sure. Let's go that way. Let's go up to the west. 
and see what we can see over here so we can explore all the stuff will do okay this leads back to the chamber where we came from is there anything useful there doesn't look like it let's go continue on to mm -hmm. the west and uh, we'll see whoa 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 hey there got it They will fall. How about we attack you? And now we can use that. And you should use your shield. And we should attack this. And probably with that. Uh, right, I think he's trying to heal himself. probably heal yourself and that and this and that just get the word more fighting does this never end pull back a little bit danger up ahead something like that to weaken him a little bit I need Can you do your shield not really Go for a shield. Oh, I think he's trying to heal himself. No, he's not. He should be dead soon. Let's see. Temple column. That's the way. Okay, let's continue on down this road. Uh, wow, something's really shining in there. Let's see what we can see here uh, first. All right, why not? Is there anything useful here? It doesn't look like it. But there's a golem here. At least it's one golem, and it's a fire golem, right, and it's here goes not, nothing. That, not that scary, really. The only problem is we don't have uh, fire damage, don't we? But we should be fine. I wonder what are they used for? Like it's it's loot, it's rare, but what does it do? Does it even do anything? Is there any like seriously no no loot? You got it. Okay. Any loot in here? Yes, there is some loot in here. Ah. Another Outer Dwarven armor plating. Windwall Way. Huh. Was there uh, a quest named Windwall Way? They're definitely not in here. Maybe Sounds for like some plan. sort of a quest that will take Blast later on, armor. but it just doesn't re register just yet. Sure. Let's continue forward then. Let's look around this place, around this pit. I think there must be something here. Mm hmm. Sure. 
That way? Oh, there's another Godstone here. Might as well activate it. We can go through here. I think we should. You got it. There's some loot this here. This way, right? But I was expecting something more of it to be here. Huh. Slab of Titan. Titanite. Again, it's probably for that wind wall way. But it's probably like that wind wall way. Is it something that uh, will happen somewhere in wind wall? Because I'm pretty sure it says something about. Experienced Dwarven Smith should be able to repurpose it for most wind wall designs. Like, is it wind wall? Is it like location somewhere where we can use it to, you know, upgrade it? So we can go over there, but I'm pretty sure it'll lead us to where we need to go, right? Well, I will we'll explore it first, though. I will not go down first. Sure. I will fully explore this level because. Well, there might be stuff. And I like stuff. What do we have here? Hmm. I'd expect this would to, to be a, would be interactable, but it's not. Okay. Again, another one of those. Let's start start leather armor. Okay, let's unblock. Get hasted five for five seconds, but it's only eight percent chance block. I prefer the. So, what's the plan? The twenty percent chance block. I think that's better. Uh, all right. Why not? I think that's all, right? Yeah, I think that's all. Is there any chance I missed something like in here somewhere? N no. Like some sort of other room. But what if I'll go right over to That's here? Will it, will it do anything if I'll step like on this parapet and uh, look down? Maybe that'll say something. Because that surely looks like something should happen here. No. Will do. Sure. Okay, let's just uh, go down. Understood. I guess. There's another godstone here. Maybe we should activate it just in case. I don't know. It seems like it. Uh, they're kind of some somewhat useful for. <laughs> Blasted armor. So that religious fan fanatic. What's his name? He's probably trying to revive something, right? To and this, this day. The Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. Okay. Hmm. So, as I was saying... Somehow the shapers are have the same rune as that were given to us by the religious dude. Well, blow me down with a feather. And here I thought this couldn't get any more impressive. Then I'm guessing we got lucky? This is the Nexus? Yes. We found Mullendir's heart. So, as I said already to Har, if we're to find out anything about the blood burn in this city, it'll be here. Do you see that massive pillar in the center? That's where the Shapers drew their energy from. They used it to communicate, to store knowledge, to power the mechanisms in their city, and to build some of their most magnificent creations. Hmm. So this is also some kind of an archive? So this is also some kind of archive? Well, not in the traditional sense. I doubt you'll find a lot of books here. You know, it's like that thing the ancients in Stargate used to <laughs> transfer knowledge that gave, like, all the knowledge of the ancients to Daniel Jackson. 
that's what it is. <laughs> this energy, what is it? Huh. And where exactly does that energy they channel in here come from? What is it? Well, that's one of the great Shaper mysteries. There's many theories and few facts. But the most likely one is that it draws from some kind of world essence. The same we mages use to cast magic. If something like that exists, why have I never heard about it before? As I said, it's just one of many theories. I might be completely mistaken. Okay. What did they create? What did they create? Just creatures? Well, obviously just a few very select items, such as, I suppose, the runes we found. Only the most skilled of their craftsmen were allowed to work on that altar you see over there. Being Zaklar, a runesmith, was one of the most respected positions in Shaper society, and only those of the priest caste were even considered. I'm guessing that whatever miracle allowed them to create these ghost watchers outside was also manufactured here. Okay. Did you say communicate? Did you just say they used this place to communicate? Yes. Apparently, some shapers were able to communicate with each other by thought alone. I've heard about that. But what does this nexus have to do with it? Well, their telepathy wasn't an innate skill. It was something the higher castes learn through somehow joining their minds to that pillar. They were connected. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds definitely useful. Well, that does sound useful. And a little bit scary. Either way, I suggest we take a look around, see what we can find. Okay. Nihal's hammer. Do you feel that? Energy. Seems there's still some left. Yeah. And what's that? Huh. Looks like some kind of anvil? Could that be where the Shapers forged their creations? Very likely so, yes. Hmm. We... Wait. How about a little experiment? That strange rune Lacane gave you. Could I, uh, borrow it for a moment? What for? As I said, a little experiment. These shards we found on the ghosts outside. I think I might be able to combine them with our rune. Okay, go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's interesting. What? The runes. They look alike. So, Lacane gave us a Shaper rune? Might be, yeah. Didn't he say it was a gift from Ionir? He seemed to think it was a gift from Ionir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I personally don't believe in Ionir handing out gifts to his followers, but as you can tell by the godstones all over the city, he played a role in the Shaper's faith too. So, technically, it could be both a Shaper rune and a gift from the Allfather. Hmm. And you're still sure you want to do this? I am. It may take a while, so I suggest you take a look around in the meantime. Sure. At least we'll be out of the blast radius that way. <laughs> Very funny. Okay. Explore Nexus. How do we explore Nexus? Uh... <gasps> yes? Do we go there? Yeah, I guess so. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, what the hell just happened? So, what's the plan? We'll do. Uh, do we what? What do we interact with? Over here? I'm pretty sure we explored everything. Hmm. Mm hmm. Now would you look at that? Okay. Scroll, explore this. What's that? This. Hmm. Looks like a map of Fiara. A very old one. Can that help us somehow? Can that help us somehow? I think so, yes. You see those markings? Glyphs. 
They look like someone carved them into the stone. Hmm. Can you make out what they say? I've been trying, but... Yes. Yes, that's it! Over here, quickly! To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrock. Is Grim? Ah, there you are. I was right. It worked. Look. I don't see anything. Just take a look. Here, Tar. I... Ah! W what the heck just happened? What did you do? I don't know. The rune. It... It must have reacted to you somehow, Tahar. Yes, but why? What did you do to it? I... Joined it with the shards we found on the Ghost Watchers. I'm guessing that caused some kind of magical reaction when you, as the rune owner, touched it. So we're bound to the city now? No, of course not. But I think the rune got stronger. Still, I'll have to do more research on this. I can't help but feeling that these runes are an ocean and we've merely touched the surface. Hmm. Let's just hope there isn't a monster on the bottom. Anyway, what now? We still haven't learned anything new about the Bloodburn or the Song. That's right, we haven't. But while I was working on the rune, a thought occurred to me. Remember how I told you that some of the higher caste shapers were able to communicate by thought alone, by telepathy? Frankly, I believe that's exactly what the song is. Telepathy. You mean we're hearing the thoughts of a shaper? The shapers are extinct, so no. But it might be someone else using shaper magic or, or, or sort of mental echo. The memories of the dead. A mental echo. I'm not sure what you mean by a mental echo. Well, the shapers left all kinds of traces, didn't they? And those specters we fought on the surface are proof that their magic is still prevalent. Also, we know they use telepathy to communicate, so who knows? Maybe this song is just a lost, forgotten thought that somehow made it through the millennia. Hmm. That's almost poetic. Song is telepathy? The song is telepathy? You mean, what we are hearing? Isn't an actual sound, but a thought translated by your mind, yes. That explains why not everybody hears it, doesn't it? Why do we then? Probably because of our magical gifts. It makes sense, doesn't it? So, somebody is talking in our heads. That's bizarre. How does that Be help Be that us? as it may, how does that get us any closer to finding a cure for the Bloodburn? Because it tells us what has to be done next. Reactivate the Nexus. Why? Because it might allow us to do the same thing that the Shapers did. Join our minds to that pillar. We could connect to the collective subconscious of an extinct race. Which then again could help us understand the song and its origin. Well, it does sound intriguing, but it didn't go well for Daniel Jackson. Hmm, that sounds intriguing. How do we reactivate it, though? Good question. But I believe those two pedestals have something to do with it. I'm pretty sure they're what used to be conjuring the energy of this place. And they're empty. So we need to find whatever was in there, don't we? A power source. Yeah. The only question is, how? Hmm. I think I have an idea. Let's get back to that map. I think Iskrim should take a look at it. Okay, so all we needed to interact is apparently the map. So Here we, we go. made a good choice. What do you make of this, Iskrim? A map of old Fiara. By Nihalf, this is... this is incredible. Yes, but I was talking about those markings. They look as though they were added manually, don't they? I've started translating them already, but I'm stuck. Can you take a shot? Let me see. Saganar Zvuladun. Hmm. Stones of... wait. You're right. The stones of the essence and their location. Stones of the essence? Stones of the essence? So they are the power sources we're looking for. They must be, yes. But why would someone hide the stones and then mark their location? Who says someone hid them? Maybe they were just brought somewhere else. It's common knowledge that the last years of the Shapers were chaotic, and they might have had a good reason to abandon this Nexus. Then maybe it's not a good idea to bring them back, don't you think? Well, the thing is, without the stones, we're stuck. We need this place up and running to understand the song. Even if my theory about it being telepathy is wrong, without power, we can't access the archive neither. Then we need to find them. Absolutely. And I suggest we start right away. We- Hold your horses, we're not getting these stones anytime soon. Why? 
Because if that map is anywhere near accurate, one of those stones is located in what's now Aeonir's Blade. No point going in there without an army. The Iron Falcons. Right. Iron Falcons? You don't know. The Iron Falcons are an order that is protecting the tomb of Foil Darg. They're fighting the world's end, so to speak. What about the other marking, Iria? Maybe... Hold on. File Darg? Hold on. The Field Darg? The Ancient Evil? Yeah, them. According to the lore, the Guardians locked them in this tomb. But the seal has gotten weaker as time went by, so for over 800 years the Iron Falcons have been protecting it. I'm surprised you know so little of your own country's lore, Tahar. Well, my father was never interested in old myths. The Field Darg aren't a myth, not at all. If it weren't for the Falcons, Fiara would be history by now. That's not to say they're a likable bunch. Word has it that they're fanatically religious, self-righteous pricks. But I guess living in the desert with only skeletons to keep you company does that to you. What about the other marking? That one's even worse. This land where the marking points to doesn't even exist anymore. It's right in the Black Sea. Damn it, you're right. But, huh. That doesn't necessarily mean that this island doesn't exist anymore, does it? Maybe the cartographers of our era simply haven't discovered it yet. We could build a ship, right? Sail there and find out. Yeah, maybe. But again, for that we need support. Someone who can provide us with influence, money, and at least some troops against whatever we'll face there. Not to mention the fact, Tahar, that your former general has probably already sent his dogs on us. <sighs> Ideas? Huh. What about that village mayor, Clara Farlin? Didn't she tell us something about certain friends she has? True. And there was a shapeshifter. Yeah, though I still don't think this is a good idea. How about the Moorhair Elves? You told me they're investigating the Bloodburn too, didn't you? Yeah, we fought them in Leonon. We fought them in Leonon. I doubt they'll be eager to cooperate. They know they made a mistake. That Scryer, she snapped, and given General Noria's intentions, she wasn't even that wrong to do so. I'm pretty sure they'll listen to what we have to say. Especially if they're struggling with the blood burn themselves. Alright, it might be worth a try. Well then, sounds like we have plenty of options, doesn't it? Where do we start? Hmm. Well, let's start with the elves, because they're the first on the list here. I, I don't think it ma matters much, because we're gonna need to do all of them. Hmm. We should try our luck with the elves first. They know about the Bloodburn. Iria, do you know the way to Leafshade? Yeah. It's a six-day journey. Less, if we find ourselves horses. Good. Then let's rest some more and get prepared. Okay. So will we just teleport to Elvenlands? So, this'll be our base, won't it? I guess so. Yes. Nihalf's hammer. How about a tad more enthusiasm? We're in the ancient city of the Shapers. If anything, we should feel honored. Well, let's just hope the city's defenses work better for us than they did for them. I'll take care of that. Above all, we need allies. We'll find them. Okay. Congratulations, you have found Mul Mulandir the sacred city of the Shapers and your base of operations. During your journey you will meet new people and factions who may join your battle against the Bloodburn. All of them will make camp in either Molandir or, or the Nexus, so be sure to talk to them every once in a while. Now, uh, not only will they have interesting things to say, particularly your companions, some can also be traded with offer with or offer unique upgrades for your armies. Okay, cool. So we got a. Um, we've got ourselves uh, a base now, and we leveled up. What do we need? So this is gaining allies. Well, hmm. Windwall's Way, Remnant of the Old, Echoes of the Past, 
Hmm. Okay, so quite a few of our guys are in there. And I think I need to talk to... Well, let's talk to Isgrim first. To upgrade his armor on all of that jazz. Before we do anything. That's her, that's when we'll wait. Okay. Let's level up then. What do we want? The question is. Hmm. Do I want to increase my attacks and stuff like that? Silenced might be also be useful. Conjure a shower of cursed blood to fall from the sky into the area with chance to apply impaired and then bleeding to all enemies caught within. Or I may, you know, increase spell power maybe? Just go on, go full on elementalism. Like put a lot of power into elementalism. Increase it by what, eighteen percent? Or I can just go this way. The problem is I, I probably will not use it. Really, you know. Let's go for leeching, cause why not? I'm a, I'm an necromant here. What does this do? Deals wide up damage, interrupts, purges target enemy. Sure, let's apply that. And you, my friend. Well. Yeah, this is probably the most useful thing you can do, because it will regenerate you as well. And let's go talk to hmm. her first. Got it. Understood. Miles to go before I sleep. Yes. Huh, I guess I can sleep here. So, this is it, isn't it? Our base of operations? So it seems. An ancient shaper city on a quest to find a cure for the blood burn. And we're working for the purity of light. <laughs> Sounds crazy if you say it like that. Just some weeks ago, I thought I'd be in Greyfell now, trying to make a fresh start as an innkeep. Innkeep? You? <laughs> hey, don't laugh. What's wrong with some honest work after years of defiling on the road? Getting up early in the morning, setting the tables, Serving mulled wine and stew to tired, weary souls. Just a simple, honest life. Inkeeping can be tiresome. Inkeeping is fun, until you find yourself on your knees at dawn, clearing up the puddles of vomit and beer these tired, weary souls left behind when they were done carousing. Quite the cynic, aren't you? For its worth, I like having you around. For what it's worth, I enjoy your company. Sure you do. Who else would patch you up after the next monumental battle? Anyway, talk later, shall we? I'm sure you've got battles to prepare. Okay. Let's go upgrade the armor then. What kind of artifact piece I found? Remnants of the old. Not entirely sure, like, Fire Golem Core is that? Maybe, I don't know. I found something. More focus. Sure. Mm -hmm. Come on. Will do. I didn't mean to press cancel, I want to, to confirm. To this day, 
the Shaper's magical and technological prowess. No, he's grim. Your armor. Let's upgrade it. Yeah, it's a. Wait. What, what's that? I'm sorry? That thing you've got there, that the shard. Can I take a look at it for a second? Nihal's hammer. This is amazing. <laughs> no, more than that. Th this is phenomenal. I don't follow. What's so special about this thing? This thing, as you call it, is part of an artifact. One that the scholars have been writing about for centuries. Blazes to her. Sometimes I wonder why it's always you who find such treasures, and not me. Look, if you find more of these, please bring them to me as fast as you can. It might be possible to reconstruct them, and that... I can't even begin to imagine what that would entail. Okay. If I find more pieces, I'll bring them to you. You have to. Nihal's hammer, I still can't believe it. What was that? Was it that 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 sword kind of thing that we kind of found? I guess w this one. I guess so. Master of Life and Death Hilt. Oh yeah, Blade Hilt knob. Okay. Now about your armor, buddy. I found some materials. Could you use these to upgrade your armor? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that could work. I'll start working as soon as possible. Great. There we go. Thanks, Tahar. Can I see what kind of armor he has? I guess it's like heavy armor now. Right? I think it was maybe worse. I don't remember, actually. I think it was 20 or something. Maybe. Ah, Tahar! How nice of you to come by. Made yourself comfortable? Comfortable? Believe me, being comfortable is the last thing on my mind right now. Just look at this place. A Shaper City. Don't you feel it too? This sense of divinity? Uh... You seem to be excited to- you seem excited to be here. You seem to be quite excited to be here. <laughs> Why, of course I am! Tahar, I'm not sure if you understand how much this means to me. The forgotten city of Mullendir, the heritage of the Shapers. Since my childhood days, I've dreamed of this. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, thank you. You and the Harbinger have made this dream come true. We did this together. Well, we? all we did was save you from the orcs. You were the one who found the entrance. You make it sound as if saving me from those green skins was an easy feat. It wasn't. Anything else I can help you with? If not, I'd like to take another look at that rune the cane gave us. Not right it's now. It's at least as amazing as this place. Okay. Let's get out of here. So for when we'll, we can upgrade his armor three more times apparently. Right? Okay. So do we just go out and that's that? Yes. I don't think we need that remnants. We don't really need that. We'll just find it. Don't need that. Uh, refugees, yeah. Power struggle, orcs, yes. Yes. Advance the main quest, we don't need to do, do that. Okay. So how do we advance the quest? Do we just go out the way we came or or what? There's another godstone here. Like do we just move right over here and uh, go out? 
I guess so. Well, I'll make a cut here, but we'll continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Wait a sec, what's that? Ah, I see. Yes. I got it. So we'll go to the world map right... I see. And from here we can actually... Do whatever we want. It still says, like, the main quest is there, but... Where is the... That's where the leaf shade... Okay, I, I guess we're gonna, gonna go to Farland's Hope first, then... Foot of Bargagor, and then we'll go to the elves. That makes more sense, you know? So, again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.